Hello, 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 and welcome to your ounce of prevention chat time with me, Dr. Stephanie Fine. We meet here Thursdays at 12.30. Love seeing you here at uh, Stephanie Fine MD. And we talk all things maintaining your weight loss. And that's what we're going to do today, too. Now, this is my new phone. I'm, I'm, I wonder if it looks any different. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm talking today about, because it's the new year, <clears throat> second day of 2020, is detox. <clears throat> now, it's a little bit of a joke because I don't generally believe in the detox that when people are talking about like having only water and lemon juice for days or, you know, only drinking things for days. That's not the detox I'm talking about. And you'll know more about that from the ounce of prevention that you can get in your inbox every Thursday morning. Just go to stephaniefinemd.com and you can sign up there and get it. And in there, I'm talking about detox and the beauty of our bodies because we're detox detoxifying all the time 24 seven. Our body was designed to do that. If it didn't do that, we would build up and it would be terrible. So there's no general need for detoxification in terms of adding a bunch of other things, but you can make it easier on your system, right? <laughs> so, um, so, and the, there's two concepts we're gonna talk about here. One is this idea that the holidays have so much um, special foods that I'm talking about having less of that. So this transition from holiday foods to your regular foods. That's what I wanna talk a little bit about. And the second thing is detoxifying your mind. And the reason that's important here is because we can beat ourselves up about the holidays. If they didn't go as planned, if uh, some things happened that you weren't thrilled with, we can spend a lot of time beating ourselves up and then punishing ourselves with restriction starting January 1st. And that's not what I want for you because the, you absolutely can lose weight, you can maintain weight without the beating yourself up. And in fact, your behaviors and habits will last longer if you're not beating yourself up. Your, um, your resolutions will last longer, your commitment will last longer. And it'll be a heck of a lot more fun because beating yourself up, no good. So the two things, one is the easing in to um, easing into any changes. Now, for I will tell you that I just thought this holiday season was crazy with the sugar. OMG, I had a bunch more sugar than I normally do. So I will be stopping that just because, first of all, it's not available. Second of all, I don't feel great when I've done it and now it's over. So there can be, um, you can sort of detox from sugar, like have less sugar. You certainly, can go cold turkey and have zero sugar. If you'd like to do it that way, you don't have to. But I did want to mention that there is a sugar withdrawal. You literally can get one, just like with alcohol or any other drug, you can get a withdrawal. Some symptoms, physical symptoms are headache and, and tiredness, um, but there's a bunch of psychological ones like cravings, depression, anxiety. That stuff can come and you can feel it acutely when you're stopping sugar. Part of that is that you are treating the depression and the anxiety with sugar. <laughs> so you're really gonna want it more because that's how you are treating yourself. You're, you're no longer treating yourself, you're just feeling that emotion. So it's just something to be aware of that if you're cutting down on sugar, notice that there may be that sort of stuff, but here's the good news, it passes. So anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks, depending on how much sugar you were having on a daily basis. And Going cold turkey, cold, cold turkey will have it end sooner. But if, if sugar is not really a major problem for you, except for over the holidays, then just easing into it will, will work out fine. And in fact, when you do ease into it, you don't have as dramatic symptoms as if you totally stopped. You were having a lot and you totally stopped. So just something to think about there. The other piece is this detoxifying your mind. And one of the ways to do that is to repl is to notice when you're saying unkind things or beating yourself up for actions. We're here we talk about food, but certainly it could be for anything. And you start to acknowledge them. And we don't wanna berate ourselves 
for berating ourselves. You see how that, <laughs> that will build on each other and not work out very well. Then we're just in a cycle of feeling terrible about ourselves and that doesn't work. So we can notice the, ber the berating or the just being mean or that sort of thing. And we acknowledge it as, oh, I know, I, I, I used to do that a lot. I'm not gonna do that as much anymore. Period, that's it. And then you start replacing it with positive things to say to yourself. That is the big payoff. When you can get into the habit of saying positive things about yourself, you are on your way to peace and calm in your mind. And one of the things um, that I wanted to talk about is, you know, you certainly can, can generate nice things to say, and some of us have those at the ready, you know, like, you're really good at this, or you're making good decisions, or I see how you're progressing, or, you know, any of those sorts of things that you can say to yourself. But sometimes it's been so long since we've said kinder things to ourselves that we're at a loss, especially because we want to be able to believe them. So um, what I recommend is reading some positive things that make sense to you. They have, I love these Louise Hay calendars. Do you know Louise Hay? Love her. She's very into um, self-love, which is so important. And she does a lot of fantastic work around that. So if, if you're interested in that, anything that she does is amazing. But she has these calendars that have just a positive saying each day. Something like that is perfect. Or any book that has a positive message that you could just read a little bit each day. That way you're getting some positivity that you don't have to generate, but that you're sort of bathing in. And that is detoxifying your mind. We're, put, we're taking something that's poisonous and we're changing it into something that's, har that's harmless. And in fact, it benefits you. So that is my tip of the day for getting our minds in a place that help us then make better decisions for our body and can, we can sustain that long term. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to do what you want have what you want in this new year and you can do that when our mind cooperates and then we can make positive decisions that's it i am sending you so much love in this new year happy happy healthy healthy new year and i will see you next week bye